Hello there. I thought I would give a quick demonstration here with my Zoom F8 with one of the shortcuts because I got talking in the YouTube comments with a guy and he was asking um, how do you clear these clip indicators because if you were to let's just grab my uh, deity shotgun and shout into it um, you will end up getting these little clip indicators on the side. Now these are quite handy because while you're busy booming you might look down and be thinking to yourself oh did this take just clip or not? I've got, I mean you're kind of listening to it um, with your ears but it's kind of nice often to have the lecture visual confirmation with your eyes to be able to see like did it actually clip down here but of course when you're trying to boom at the same time as recording you often have got your eyes elsewhere because you're you know booming at the same time. Um, so it's quite nice often at the end of a tape being able to just glance down and just see for yourself did that track actually clip or not um, versus you know what you also heard in your ears and that way you get double confirmation either way as to what was happening. Um, but the big downside though is every time you slate it seems like it ends up clipping of course. So um, yeah I kind of wish there was an option that the clip indicator would only actually engage say one minute after you start recording or something. Anyway um, the very simple workaround here is just to clear the clip indicator and it's a handy little shortcut for that. You press the stop button here and you press also the 5 one and boom it tells you it is cleared. Look at that. Let's see if I can actually get this in focus. Where is the focus point? It's not there, there. And um, so yeah as I was saying you um, get that nice little words pop up and tell you that Hey, it's clear. It's uh, been cleared. Do that again. Hmm. Anyway, um, so yeah, if I shout, oh yeah, really got these here clipped because I kind of cranked it up quite high. And uh, now you can see that cleared again. Yay! Now, um, what I can do even better than this is show you how to find out what those shortcuts are because it's very often you'll be in the field and just in the pressure there's some shortcut you forget what it is maybe it's a more obscure shortcut you don't use as often maybe you've had a couple of months break off because you're doing something else and you've forgotten what the shortcuts are and you're like you don't have time to look up it in the manual I mean who reads manuals well I read manuals anyway here is how you find out what the, let's get that in focus man, why can I, it's, that's focused, cool. And so anyway, here's how you can um, look, look, look it up even when you forget because the recorder can tell you, just press system like this, scroll down to shortcut list and look at that, it tells you tells you here what all the combinations are. Isn't that freaking awesome? So now there's no need for you to remember all the time that pressing stop plus five is how to um, uh, clear the, trip, the, the, the track indicator because if you ever forget that that's like no problem because you can just look it up. Now anyway, there might be one last problem you're thinking, but hang on David, what if we are recording, do I really want to press the stop button and the 5 at the same time? That seems like a very, very dangerous shortcut combination indeed. That's scary, don't do that. Um, that was exactly my first thoughts when I realised what the shortcuts was for the Zoom F8 in. I was like, 
That's craziness. Absolutely freaking craziness. Like, I don't want to ever put my finger anywhere near that stop button while I'm recording until I actually want to stop it. Well, there's a really cool handy trick here that saves you. All you need to do is just press the 5 by itself. Boom! It's cleared! Ha ha! Ha ha! So, um, yeah. I've cranked it. I mean, like, it's peaking and boom! Cleared! Quite nice. Um, anyway. You might be wondering, why do I have my F4 and my Orca RR30 bag as well? I don't normally ever have the two <laughs> in the same bag. Um, I just popped it in here just for this quick video to show you that the exact same thing exists for the F4. So you can also clear it with a shortcut key. Now the great thing about these is that Rather than diving into the menu to remind yourself what that um, shortcut is, like you can see I've just done there, with the F4 it's even easier because they have up here this key that's marked Option. So as soon as you press that, they automatically um, brings up the list here and then you um, know you've got to press the... PFL2 and boom it tells you clip indicator cleared. Ah, let's just put that a bit better and see. Clip indicator cleared. Nice. So um yeah, that's my quick overview of the F4 and F8N. How the shortcut keys, lots and lots of shortcut keys, but I'll just in particular showing you the clip indicators. So um yeah, I hope people find that helpful. Until next time, goodbye, and keep on sound speeding.